All right. So Siberian Arctic, uh, it says sea surface temperatures will continue to rise along the Siberian coast due to the unprecedentedly early loss of hashtag Arctic sea ice in this region. And then um, it shows the graphic. So what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on is that the ice, the ice extent, because it's in a square, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's in, I'm trying to read this sideways. Yes. No worries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, need, I need to have zooming eyeglass lenses. <laughs> 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 well, the, it's a lot of like lines going on. You're just like, all right, you just know. I, I was, I was looking at the, uh, the scale just to make sure I was looking. But, you know, it's basically showing the, uh, the extent in uh, a million uh, square kilometers. And it's it's dropping off i mean first of all we it started melting a lot sooner that's the important thing look basically underneath the i and the b in siberian if you mm -hmm. look you can see that that part of the red graph there it's just really melting off earlier you can see the dip uh, the the difference between the red and the yellow which was 2012 i guess yeah and it, so it started melting a lot sooner, it kind of caught up with a previous year, and then pfft, it's just really melting off. It, it, it's, it's, go, it's on pace to be uh, the <laughs> lowest extent ever. And not only the lowest extent ever, but the lowest extent reached sooner than ever, which means that be more open water for a longer duration, absorbing more heat energy. That's, that's another thing to take into account. It's absorbing the heat energy because there's It's melting of ice. faster and sooner, leaving a longer time period of open water. And don't forget, you take into account that this is summertime, so the, the poles is, is tilted right at the sun, getting pretty direct sunlight energy. So it's going to be absorbing more energy because of more open water for a longer period of time which will delay the freeze up later on. Good God. And you did an, a video about the ocean acidification not too long ago that talked about other consequences, right? With the warming of the ocean and is that, is this the warming of the Arctic probably, you know, higher temperatures as well, as well as the heat from above, there's the warming of the ocean. Well, uh, don't forget, uh, well, on the Siberian side, not so much, but on okay. the Bering, on the Bering side, what I'm getting at is you have the warm Pacific uh, waters moving in. Oh. Now, on the North Atlantic side, where you've got, you know, like around Fram Strait and stuff like that, yeah, and then you have the warm Atlantic water meeting up with the cold Arctic water, and that's why areas like uh, the uh, Barents Sea, is now being what they call the Atlantification of the Barents Sea, meaning that it's starting to take on characteristics more typical of Atlantic Ocean water than Arctic Ocean water. Interesting term. Getting yeah. warmer and saltier. So warmer and saltier. Jeez. You know, so you got because when water comes in through the Bering uh, Strait, there's a bit of a bifurcation. But the flow patterns, I'm trying to remember now, the, the flow patterns is pretty much almost like clockwise around the basin, around so go. So it would, so yeah, it would go towards the, uh, the Russian side first before swinging around to like the, the Hudson Bay or, you know, the, uh, the Canadian archipelago. So, so this could also be influenced from the warmer Pacific uh, ocean that was that could be influencing the uh, Siberian Arctic ice uh, disappearing sooner. I see, as well as the lack of ice and the heat absorption. As well as the lack of ice, heat absorption, everything coming together. Yeah, everything. Because so, you having you having the heating from above, and then you have the warming, the warmer water from below. We see the same thing with the Antarctica, by the way. 
you got the heating from above, but then you got the warming waters from below melting the ice from top and bottom. And the next thing you know, you've got chunks the size of Long Island hopping off into the ocean. <laughs> you know, it's like. <laughs> It's just that serious though. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's just, the scale is just amazing. It's got some crazy shit going on. <laughs> 2020, right?